Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking. In this series, we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs as they demonstrate how to prepare some of their favorite dishes. And now, here is today's host. Welcome to Creative Cooking. This month, we are celebrating the versatility of Grace Pasta line of products. Joining us is Chef Carl Thomas, and he will be making saute spaghetti with pan-seared snapper filet. Welcome, Chef Thomas, to Creative Cooking. Thank you very much, Carly. Nice it's to be here. always a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you. Now, today you're making a versatile dish for us, and you're using spaghetti. Let's talk yes. about pasta yes. on a whole. Well, um, pasta in itself is a very versatile starch item. Um, most persons are used to having whether it be potatoes or yams or dashi, you know, even rice. Um, mm -hmm. Pasta is quick and easy, and, and it's much lighter and much more healthier than, you, than the heavier starches are. Now, we know we have a number of pastas. And the range is pretty wide. Yes. You want to share the more popular ones with us? Well, um, here in Jamaica, we get um, probably a very limited amount of pasta that, they are, that, that we have around. Mm -hmm. um, for the straight ones, you have mostly spaghetti, linguine, fettuccine, and the other shapes, you probably have the regular elbow, which most persons know it as the shell. macaroni or the mm -hmm. shell, um, the spiral, um, fusilli, which is a bow tie type yes. pasta, yeah. the lasagna. Yeah. Some unusual ones you have is like the tortellini or, or the cannelloni, which is like a large tube-like pasta. That I can, can see the list is endless. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff, um, a whole lot of different colors depending on what it's in, enhanced with, whether green for spinach or um, enhanced with tomato, which is the red color pasta that you know. Wow, get. and which one are you using today? Well, today we're using a um, plain spaghetti type pasta, but it will have somewhat of an Asian style to it. Have a little bit of broth presented with the pasta and the protein and vegetables. I'm going to prepare a simmered spaghetti pasta with a pan seared snapper with julienne vegetables. Um, in a pot here, I'll add some water, which is about eight fluid ounces, right? And in this pot, I'll add some chopped onions. And here I'm creating somewhat of a broth to cut the pasta in. Some garlic, right? And uh, a little unusual way of using it is grace cock soup. What I've done is sift it to remove the noodles and I'm using the spices from it to enhance this broth. Right. A little bit of black pepper. A little bit of vegetable oil. This is for the snapper just enough to coat the bottom of the pan and it'd be good if you have a non-stick pan which will help to prepare the fish even better. Right, we have two snapper fillets here which I'm going to season with some grazed black pepper, some salt, and a little bit of vegetable oil to allow the seasoning to move around freely and not to allow it to stick to itself. Here I have a bowl with seasoned flour, salt and pepper again. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to coat the fish in this flour before I add it to the pot. All right, make sure to coat all sides of the fish and shake off the excess flour. You don't want it to be too thick. You know, let it searing. The pot of broth that we have here has started to simmer. So what I'll do, I'll add my pasta to it and put it on a very low flame. Pasta has already been cooked, and as most persons probably know, but for persons who don't know, um, large amount of boiling water with a little bit of salt and some oil to prevent the pasta from sticking. So I put this now in the broth and put it on a very low flame and just allow it to simmer a little bit. Let me check back with our fish. You have the fish flavor coming out in the vegetables and that is important also. Oh, 
fish is getting a wonderful golden color here and this is what you'd like to look for in the finished product to help with the presentation also. Generally if you're preparing a fish, the presentation side should be placed in the pot first to ensure that you have a nice caramelization of the product. So in the same pot, I'm going to add some carrots. Some peppers, some onions, we move this around quickly to ensure the sauteing process without the vegetables being burnt, some tomatoes, my pasta. Okay, that's looking fine so far. Season again, a little bit more pepper and a little bit more salt, just to enhance the flavor of the season. And we deglaze it with some wine. Simmer this for a short while because we don't want the wine to reduce too much, but still we want a little of the wine flavor to kind of go down into the broth that we have to present in. Okay, that's ready. First we add the pasta into the bowl. And this dish is almost like a Asian style pasta that you'd probably have on the streets of somewhere in Japan or China. A little bit of broth in the bowl. On top of that, we'll add our vegetables. And then we'd add our fish. Hi, Chef. Hello, Carly. Apart from pasta being versatile, I see where fish yes. is also versatile. Yes, most persons these days are trying to eat more healthy and yes. probably staying away from the red meat or even the poultry. So this is a nice alternative and it's very quick and easy. I can see that and it smells really, really Thank good. You. Chef, you have so much to offer and we really look forward to having you on the program again. Thank you very much. Thanks Carly. so much for coming. Here. Thank you. Here's another food and a kitchen tip from Grace. And that's our show for today. Thanks for joining us. Remember, you may contact us by mail, email or phone for this and other recipes. We'd love to hear from you. Till next time, thanks for watching. This is Chef Season on Creative Cooking, and we hope you enjoyed today's show. Join us every Monday morning at 7.35 as we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs, demonstrating some of their favorite dishes here on Smile Jamaica, It's Morning Time. Chef Season continues next Monday morning on Creative Cooking, 7.35 on TVJ, and with a repeat at 2.50 p.m. every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss it. <laughs>